I know how this film opens up, approaching Nova Scotia from the water. Uh, my grandfather would be seeing North America for the very first time on his journey. I cannot go there right now to shoot it. The border is closed. How much money did you make per week? Oh, the wages were very low at that time. Uh... In 1991, for a school project, I asked my grandfather some questions on videotape about the Great Depression. As the afternoon progressed, I asked more about our family history. His story became many stories, as I've been traveling the country talking to cousins about how they ended up where they are. I'm going to explore what happened to the Armenian people over the last hundred years. Forced into exile, the Armenians left their homeland and spread all over the globe. We were all driven out of our homes, and we all had to travel to different cities. Since uh, the party was separated, uh -huh. whatever they ordered, everything was with the whip, you know. Come on, everybody, in the morning early. Like we had tents all over the night. Pull the tents, we're going, all right, park, two, are there. People used to get mixed up, get lost, and the reason they put in the desert, so they'll die on the way. Stephen Bojulian, his parents, and his sister were taken out of their home, put on a train to Eskashir. They were taken to the desert that leads to Iraq and started walking to Baghdad. I had two kids. I lost them on massacre. He says, if you know where they are, he says, my husband is a government official. He says, you can find them, you can bring them. My mother says, I don't know where. No idea what town, what area. Buffalo. California, Pasadena, Portland, Maine. Ellis Island. To Detroit. Highland Park. Then we moved first into Cyprus. So Navart and Vartan came to Detroit. His uh, grandfather was a shoemaker, and his father was a shoemaker, and all his father's sons, including him, were shoemakers. And so when he... Uh, went to New York, immediately he got a job in repairing shoes. Never right. tell you about my, uh, my haircut. I tell that story about mm -mm. my mother took me to the bar barber shop, had my haircut. I was probably, what, two or three or four, I don't know. And uh, the barber come around the front and he said, uh, close your eyes. And uh, I just sat there like this and then he said, close your eyes. And uh, I didn't close them. So my mother said, "Let's get kotze," and I closed. <laughs> my family spent the 20th century reconnecting at churches, picnics, and backyards. These are all nostalgic pictures, and this was our church uh, when we first built it. This was all the committee in front of Davison Church. Let's see, every Sunday we would uh, go to church and after church we'd stop at the uh, Victor Bakery and pick up some pita. And sometimes uh, it was missing a loaf by the time we got home. Right, we'd buy three, come home with two. <laughs> two. <laughs> and Uncle Arm would come home with a chicken and we'd all play with the chicken for a little while and then a couple hours later we'd be having chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we never thought twice about it. All right, it's pilaf, it's meats, it's um, cheeses. Probably the, the probably the barracks. I mean, that's those are probably the number one. It's just like they come out of the oven and it's just like they start hovering around the oven. When you can see it's just, the smell starts to happen, and then it's just like you see all the all the little kids and myself included lining up. Now. Well, you enjoyed it. We did. Yeah. After I'm gone, you'll have the picture. Oh, Daddy, please don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing lasts forever.